base 10, the, val the place value that we use. In everyday regular place value that we use in math, we use base 10. That's our number system that we use every day. There are many other bases. There's base 2, base 3, base 4, base 9, which I'll show you in a second. But our base 10 place value system works off of 10s, okay? When you look at the place values, you know that the first one is a 1. So all the 1s go into this spot, okay? And here's a decimal point just to the right of it, okay? And you know that anything that's on this side of the decimal point means it's a tenth. And anything to the right of that is one hundredth. And it keeps going on and on and on, a thousandth, a ten thousandths, a hundred thousandths into the decimal points. But on this side of the place value of the decimal point, we go from the ones to the tens to the hundreds to the thousands, ten thousands, and it keeps on going, right? To millions and trillions. It just keeps on going. So base 10 means the number system and place value is based on the number 10. That's why it's called base 10. It's based on 10s. Okay? So let's look at this number here. We have a 2,000. That means in the thousands place, we have a 2. Now, there's only one number allowed in each box. Okay? Because if you got to two numbers, like a 12, then the the, in the 12, the 1 of the 12 should be in this box, okay? So, 400 goes in the hundreds. We have four one hundreds. 30 means we have three tens. And the 5 means we have five ones. That is our base 10 system. One number goes in each box and it represents that group. Two means two thousands. So that when we add them up, we get 2,435. Now look at this. 10 times 10 is 100, okay? So we went from one to 10, one times 10 is 10, and now we're gonna say 10 times 10 is 100, and we're gonna keep multiplying by 10 to get the next column. Okay, so 100 times 10 is 1,000. If you had 10 $100 bills, you'd have $1,000. Okay, so once this here got to 9, that's as high up as you can go. It can't go to 10, because if you did, then it would look like this, because only one number is allowed in each box. That means you'd have one ten thousand and zero thousands. You'd have ten thousand, see? It goes from nine thousand to ten thousand, so the one, that one ten thousand would be in that box. That's the way our base ten system works. One number in each box, you multiply it by ten, ten thousand times ten is a hundred thousand, hundred thousand times ten is a million, and that's how you know what goes up here in this row up here is that each one is multiplied by 10 heading off to the left. Going this way on this side of the decimal point, from this point this way, you're this side, here let me do this, on this side you're multiplying by 10, when you go this way you're dividing by 10, okay? So if you have a 1 in the ones column, and you want to go this way, you're splitting that one into ten parts. It's like saying you have ten tenths. Ten tenths is one, okay? You would have to divide it by a hundred to get into this column, see? So this is dividing by ten, this side is multiplying by ten. Now let's look at this base 9 so that you can understand the difference between base 10 and another base. In base 10, we say 1s, 10s, 100s, 1000s. In base 9, we say 1, 9, 81, 729, and the next number over to the left would be 6,561. Now why is that? Well, because in the base 10, we were multiplying by 10 to get to our next number to the left. In base 9, 
we multiply by 9 to get to the left. So 1 times 9 is 9, so that's our 9. 9 times 9 is 81, see? Over here we were saying by 10, in base 9 we multiply by 9. 81 times 9 is 729. 729 times 9 is 6,561. So in base 9, this number means two nines and three ones. Two nines and three ones. And if you were to add that up, you'd have 18, 19, 20, 21, but that would be in base 10. In base 10, it would be 21, but in base 9, it's 23 because that means there's two nines and three ones. If we said that there was one here, that means there's an 81, two nines, and, a one, and three ones. See how base 9 is different than base 10? So, in my next video, I'm going to go over base 9 again, and I'm going to explain it. And I will go all the way to base 2, which is binary. So stick with me. This is kind of fun. It's like a puzzle.